In the latest Destiny hotfix, they actually ended up buffing Burning Maul. It wasn't doing a lot of damage before this buff, but now we get a 25% increase in PvE. Two aspects you're going to need are Roaring Flames and Soul Evictus, as you saw in the thumbnail, as well as the Burning Steps. And two very important fragments to have are Ember of Combustion and Ember of Eruption. Another really good one is Ember of Charge, so it spreads Scorch when you get Ignitions. It's just super good and another way to do more damage. And to make that even better, we got Ember of Ashes so we can apply more Scorch stacks when we get the Scorch per Ignition kill. So it's a lot of Ignition and Scorching, and we're also going to be running the Hammer. Hammer is always good because it grants Cure the moment you hit somebody. You don't even have to kill them. As long as you make contact and you pick up the Hammer again, you get Cure. Grenade also doesn't really matter for this, but I went with the Solar Grenade. Just because if you hit somebody, you guarantee you get a Scorch on them. For the Exotic Armor piece, we got Path of the Burning Steps. It gives you up to a 40% damage increase once you get three stacks, and it's just super reliable for any Solar Titan. For the mods, we're going to want to run Elemental Armament so we create a well when we get kills with a Solar Weapon. You want to run Elemental Charge so when you pick up that, you become Charged with Light. High Energy Fire for an extra damage buff. Font of Mai for increased weapon damage. And Bountiful Well so we can stack all the wells that we make. There are all sorts of mods you can use out there. These are the ones that I just decided to use. But yeah guys, that's it for the build and with that being said, thanks for watching and I hope this helps.